hi there in this video we are going to discuss about immunodeficiency syndromes uh, so many different uh, immunodeficiencies are written here and I have tried to summarize them so uh, let's start it so immunodeficiency states uh, can be classified into uh, primary immunodeficiency state as well as secondary immunodeficiencies so what are primary immunodeficiencies Primary immunodeficiencies are basically uh, inherited defects in immunity and these are manifested uh, in the 6 months to 2 years of the age. So these are basically uh, congenital or by birth. However, secondary immunodeficiencies are the uh, immunocompromised state which uh, are uh, attained uh, in the later uh, part of your life. So primary immunodeficiency is by birth. However, secondary immunodeficiencies are uh, obtained later on and uh, secondary may be for example due to HIV uh, which is AIDS which lead to the immunocompromised state or uh, secondary immunodeficiency can also be due to uh, use of uh, immunosuppressants uh, which are used to uh, suppress your immune system in various autoimmune diseases and so on. So let's uh, discuss about different primary immunodeficiencies. So primary immunodeficiencies include severe combined immune deficiency syndrome, DGORD syndrome, hyper IgM syndrome uh, and X-linked a gamma globinemia and it also include uh, common variable immunodeficiency and uh, Wishcott Eldritch syndrome as well as ataxia telangiectasia syndrome okay so first start with uh, skid or severe combined immune deficiency syndrome so this condition is uh, by birth and uh, uh, there is by birth uh, defective B and T cell function okay uh, there is n not a properly functioning humoral immunity as well as cell mediated immunity both uh, immune responses are compromised when both immune responses are compromised there is increased infection risk there is increased risk of oral candidiasis which is fungal infection there is increased risk of diaper dash or generalized skin rash can also appear uh, this generalized skin rash is uh, it is um, uh, you can say uh, observe that this generalized skin rash is basically due to maternal uh, antibodies which may cross the placenta and enter in the baby and uh, these can lead to the uh, you can say representation similar to graft versus host disease due to which generalized skin rash may also appear so there is failure to thrive and as there is no uh, humoral as well as cell mediated immunity death usually occurs within one year or first year of the age so it can be x-link or it can be autosomal recessive in x-link case there is a defect in interleukin 17 and when there is interleukin 17 defect um, the maturation of bnt lymphocyte and multiple aspect of the immunity are compromised and it can be autosomal recessive in autosomal recessive case mostly adenosine dmyonase enzyme is defective which is involved in purine metabolism and when this enzyme is defective Toxic metabolites of the purine metabolism accumulate, uh, which are uh, toxic to the uh, BNT lymphocyte and lead to the amino deficiency. Okay, it can also be due to failure of class 2 MHC expression molecules, which also lead to the defective immune response. So, these are uh, they can, it can be X linked uh, due to interleukin 17 defect, it can be autosomal recessive due to adenosine D minus defect, it can be due to defect of class 2 MHC. Uh, affecting BNT cell response. So treatment involves basically gen therapy or hemopoietic stem cell transplantation. Okay, hemopoietic stem cell transplantation, which may improve the immunity and may improve the survival of the patient. Next is X-linked A gamma globinemia. As the name represent here, it is X-linked and uh, follows the X-linked pattern of inheritance. And in this condition, there is disordered B cell maturation. B cell or B lymphocyte don't mature properly. So there is lack of uh, production of the immunoglobulins. And there is uh, when there is lack of immunoglobulins, uh, immunoglobulins are not produced. So there is a defective humoral immune response. And when there is a defective humoral immune response, uh, live vaccine should be avoided in patient because uh, they will uh, not lead to the production of immunity however this live vaccine can lead to the infection so they are avoided in such patient and the principal defect is bruton tyrosine kinase defect here which is involved in the maturation of the b cells okay uh, so this uh, disease manifests itself after the about six months of the age because uh, up to six months maternal antibodies are uh, active in the uh, baby so its uh, treatment is also replacement therapy 
नेक्स्ट इज डी जॉर्ज सेंड्रोम एंड डी जॉर्ज सेंड्रोम इज बेसिकली ड्यू टू डिफेक्ट इन द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ थर्ड एंड फोर्थ फ्रेंजियल पोचिज एंड वैन दिस पोचिज डोंट डिवेल्प प्रॉपरली देर इज डिफेक्ट इन थाइमस डिवेलपमेंट देर इज ऑल्सो डिफेक्टिव पैराथोराइड डिवेलपमेंट ओके वन देर इज डिफेक्ट इन थाइमस डिवेलपमेंट देर इज अब नॉर्मल टी सेल मेच्योरेशन ओके सो इट बेसिकली इन्वॉल्व टी सेल डिफेक्ट एंड अगेन हेयर थाइमिंग टिश्यू ट्रांसप्लांटेशन में हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव द इम्यूनिटी इन डी जॉर्ज सेंड्रोम नेक्स्ट इज हाइपर आई जी एम सेंड्रोम हाइपर एन जी आई जी एम सेंड्रोम इज फिनोमिना इन विच दे इज नॉर्मल और सुपर नॉर्मल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द आई जी एम एंटीबॉडीज हाउ एवर द अदर क्लासेज ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई जी जी आई जी ए आई जी ई आर लो इन नंबर और लो इन काउंट सो हेयर द डिफेक्ट इज सी डी फोर्टी रिसेप्टर डिफेक्ट एंड इट कैन बी एक्सलिंक और एटोसोमल रिसेसिव एंड इन दिस केस देर इज डिफेक्ट इन बेसिकली ड्यू टू सी डी फोर्टी रिसेप्टर डिफेक्ट देर इज डिफेक्टिव क्लास स्विचिंग वी नो डैट वन एंटीबॉडीज प्रोडक्शन स्टार्ट फ्राम द प्लाज्मा सेल विच आर प्रोड्यूस फ्राम द बी लिंफोसाइड देर इज स्विचिंग ऑफ द एंटीबॉडीज वन क्लास ऑफ द एंटीबॉडीज स्विच इज टू अदर क्लास विच लीड टू द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मल्टीपल क्लासेज ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज हाउ एवर इन दिस केस देर इज सी डी फोर्टी रिसेप्टर डिफेक्ट विच लीड टू द डिफेक्टिव क्लास स्विचिंग सो आई जी एम मे रिमेन नॉर्मल और सुपर नॉर्मल हाउ एवर अदर क्लासेज आर डिक्रीज ओके सो दिज आई जी एम इंक्रीज लेवल ऑफ आई जी एम एंटीबॉडीज मे रिएक्ट विद द ब्लड सेल कॉम्पोनेट्स विच कैन लीड टू द साइटोपिनिया इंक्लूडिंग थ्रोमोसाइटोपिनिया हिमोलिटिकनीमिया न्यूट्रोपिनिया एंड सोन ओके नेक्स्ट वी मूट वर्ड आई जी ए डेफिशियंसी इन दिस केस देर इज लो लेवल ऑफ आई जी ए एंटीबॉडीज हाउ एवर अदर एंटीबॉडीज मे बी नॉर्मल Uh, and uh, infection risk may be increased or uh, patient may be asymptomatic because other antibodies may be functioning normally okay so in this condition again airway and g8 infections are common because uh, igg uh, iga was preventing infection there so when iga is defective air inf infection and g8 infection may be increased so in uh, all the kind of immunodeficiencies when there is immunodeficiency that is obvious that uh amino compromise in amino compromise the amino deficiency rate infection risk will be increased next is common variable amino deficiency and this condition uh, there is low amino globulin due to b cell all herpel t cell defect and bacterial or uh, enter enteroviral infection risk are increased and uh, it can also uh, lead to the autoimmunity or lymphoma next is viscot elwich syndrome and this can this condition is characterized by thrombocytopenia eczema and infection risk bleeding may be present here due to thrombocytopenia and it is also excelling this condition defective defect is in was protein gene and uh, which lead to the low level of igm however iga and ige may be increased and igg may be normal so igm is defective and this uh, defective igm lead to the compromised immunity so in all condition either B and T lymphocyte both are getting affected. For example, in in uh, swelling of bone immunodeficiency disease, both B and T cell will be uh, were defective. In excelling the hemoglobinemia, B cell function is defective, and in the Jaw syndrome, principally T cell function is defective. In hyper IgM syndrome, uh, class switching is defective. In variable amino uh, uh, deficiency. Uh, immunoglobulins are defective due to B cell defect or helper T cell defect. In Viscot Elwich syndrome, uh, IgM response is defective. Next, we uh, move toward the immunodeficiency state, which is uh, ataxia, telangiectasia, and it is also autosomal recessive disease. Uh, it is characterized by abnormal gait, vascular mal malformation. It, is, it has uh, varied, you can say, manifestation. There is neurological defect. Um, there is increased tumor risk, and there is also immunodeficiency. In this condition, both B and T response can be abnormal, but principally it affects IgA and IgG2 immunoglobulins. T cell deficiency uh, are less common. They can be present, but they are less common. So gene here responsible is ATM gene, and this gene is basically detects the cell with damaged DNA and lead to the rapid process. So when this gene is defective there there is no uh, apoptosis and there is also uh, abnormal uh, developmental abnormalities and uh, also uh, compromised immune response so these were different primary immunodeficiencies and uh, you are uh, supposed to have a basic idea of these at your third year mdbs level thank you